What's up, YouTube, and all my Forex fiends out there? Corey Smith here, CoreFX, bringing you another weekly technical talk. This is going to be episode four. Thank you all for tuning in. If this is a repeat watch for you and you've watched some of the other weeks, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. If this is new and you are just checking this out for the first time, thank you very much for taking the time to check it out. I'm going to do a quick rundown of the foreign exchange currency markets. I'm going to break down the technical pairs on all the U.S. major pairs as well as my watch list for the week ahead. I'm covering a lot of pairs this week. We've got a lot going on in the markets. We had a pretty wild week last week. I was away, for any of you that know, just got back, so I'm ready to hit the markets again here. Thank you very much for tuning into this video. I'm going to go ahead and flip it into the charts here and start breaking down some of these pairs and opportunities we're looking at. See you guys in there. Starting off here with the Euro US dollar, this is going to be the most heavily traded pair as I go over with you guys in the Forex market. It makes up about 60% of the volume traded. Um, it is very heavily watched. A lot of people, this is their favorite pair. Um, it's not as volatile as some of the other pairs. It's a, it's a good pair to trade. However, as we know, I've been going over for the past few weeks. We have been in this range. We've been in this pennant within a bull market. So it's a bullish continuation pattern. And price has just been bouncing around between this upper and lower black trend line we've got here. This past week, this blue weekly daily trend line got tested. Looked like it might have broken below and closed, but it actually ended up bouncing. Still holding on this trend line here. I do have a slight bias to the upside <clears throat> as we're at the bottom of this pennant. And we now are coming up to the top of this trend line being the third touch here. This is the fourth bounce. Seems like it's about ready to go. I would like to see price do this, come up, respect this trend line, break this upward trend line and structure, hold back to retest this 124 area here, and then continue higher and make this uptrend move. Now, this has been ranging for a while. We have been trapped under the resistance of 125 since the beginning of the year and above 122. So this range is likely going to make a uh, Nice strong pop once this breaks. It very easily could break to the downside and reverse this trend. However, we are watching to the upside for a break out <clears throat> to continue in an uptrend long. I'll let you guys know real quick. My voice is patchy in and out. Uh, got some kind of sickness of some sort, sinus infection or something going on. So I apologize, guys. That's why my throat's a little messed up here. But hopping into the pound dollar. We saw a very strong rejection off of this weekly resistance here. Um, as you guys know, we've been in an uptrend. We set a higher high, higher low. I called this push to set another higher high. And as expected, we can expect then a higher low. We have actually not broken structure yet. So the prior structure, which was higher high, higher low, higher high, it pulled back to the higher low, which Ideally, we would have liked it to pull back to around the prior higher high retest structure and continue. However, we know that the markets aren't always ideal. We have pulled back very hard. We're now down to the higher low, so it hasn't broken that structure yet. However, switching it to the weekly chart, you can see something that is telling a bigger story. Double top to this resistance here on the 200 SMA, and we got a very strong bearish engulfing close on the weekly off of that zone. Now we know the weekly is a very strong chart. The overall trends we want to analyze on the weekly and daily. Um, this There's a lot of reasons for this, but one of the which being those are the major trends and price most likely follows the major trends. However, we are seeing some short term, at least um, counter trend signs here. And we're going to want to keep an eye on that. We do see a little bit of divergence. This is moving higher. This is moving lower. So we are seeing a multitude of things telling us we don't want to be long currently on the pound dollar. So we're just going to have to sit back and watch this pair play out. Dollar CAD. <clears throat> we saw this lower low here when the trend reversed into a downtrend. Pull back now. We have a very strong bounce off this support. I don't like shorting anything with the trend or not against momentum like that. So we're definitely going to have to wait and see how Sunday, Monday this week go. But it is coming back up to a very strong level. This is um, the 382 to 50% FIBS at low zone. So if I throw a Fibonacci out here on this lower low push, pullback for lower high, 
we are in this 382 to 50 percent range here which lines up perfectly with this strong support resistance zone so this is where we are going to look for a reversal to then show us it's going to make another leg lower and this is the beginning of a downtrend as we broke this trend line and broke structure here with this lower low lower high so we can't get too crazy here but um this is where we'll be looking for shorts now as prices come back up to retest this zone <clears throat> dollar yen still in this early phase of an uptrend after breaking this downtrend right so we've been in this range here and we slowly started to break out this week but we're still trapped under this 108 ish range up here so <clears throat> ideally we are going to need to see the dollar yen break up above this zone and then we'd like to get in on a pullback like this maybe a little deeper of a pullback get in long and then ride it for the next higher high that it makes um but this week, really, I'm just looking to see if it's able to come up and make a higher high to then start looking for longs on pullbacks. <clears throat> Dollar Swiss franc, still respecting the size uptrend. Told you guys I was a little worried last week that this could double top off this 200 SMA and reverse. However, trend has continued back to back to back to back. Four day bullish bounce last week. Strong weekly break and close above on the weekly with a strong candle there. And on the daily, you can see it's made a strong move. So again, with this one, we're going to wait for a pullback back down to around this area, broken structure, SMA, 200 SMA. And then from there, we can look for price to hold on support, find some support in here, and then continue back higher to at least the prior high or possibly even set a new higher high afterwards. <clears throat> Aussie dollar, US dollar, downtrend still on the daily and the weekly. We had a little bit of a fake out here. We thought this was breaking the trend line. I told you guys with this setup here that we were still respecting this trend line, 50 and 200 SMA held, and we got a big shooting star candle. And if you would have traded that with an entry down here at the candle, stop up above the wicks and 200 SMA, price has moved pretty nicely, right? So that's not a trade I was taking. However, that analysis has held strong. Even though it looked like we were breaking this trend line, we double topped off this 200 SMA. And Thursday, Friday last week, we had a very strong sell off back down to the support now. So ultimately, at this point, all we're going to be waiting for is a break lower low, maybe pull back retest, <laughs> get in for a short, or uh, this support holds, and maybe we break back out this way and reverse the trend. But uh, again, another pair that's not immediately on the watch list, but it is something we want to keep an eye out on. New Zealand dollar, US dollar, um, again, this one <clears throat> faking us out. We were in this bearish falling wedge, I mean, this bullish falling wedge pattern in an uptrend. Price broke out. We thought we were going to get a little bit of a pullback and then bounce continue higher, but we got a very strong pullback all week last week, and we are now back down to this very strong support at 170, at 72 here. So another one we're going to have to watch and see. There's nothing too clear that I like. I'm not trading this pair right now. No clear trend. We're still in this really ugly range bound mess right here. So until we get a clearer trend, as you guys know, I'm not looking to trade anything that is trending like that. So uh, keeping an eye on New Zealand dollar as it's one of our majors, one of our U.S. cross pairs, and we always keep an eye on them. However, I am not looking to trade it on my watch list. Watch list is something I'm looking to trade in the next couple of days. I'm not looking to trade that in the next couple of days. So. That is going to be um, just something I keep an eye on throughout the week and see how it develops. Moving on to my watch list from the U.S. majors. First up is CAD yen. We have a pullback here after price did set a new higher high. So using market structure, we had a downtrend. Price was violated when this lower higher low, I mean a uh, lower high got broken here. We set this higher high. Price is now pulled back, setting what could be a higher low here. Perfect place to look for pullback entries to then go long and ride this newly formed uptrend to the upside. This is a setup that we really like here at CoreFX. So we're going to be going ahead and looking for long opportunities in the CAD yen this week on some support being found on the daily here. Also, we got Swiss franc yen. <clears throat> a little bit of a different setup. We're in a downtrend, set a lower low, lower high. We're now back down testing this lower low. So ideally what we want to look for here is 
this support on 110.50 to be broken. Pull back to retest it. Maybe you got a stop loss here, entry down here, ride the trend back to the downside and catch that next leg of the lower low that we going that we are expecting, but not necessarily going to happen here on the Swiss franc yen. Uh, we got to anticipate these things, but the markets do whatever they want, whenever they want. We always have to be on our toes and anticipating anything happening. So um, that is how we're going to be approaching this. Uh, pound yen, I know this is one of your, everyone I talk to in the Forex, this is some people's favorite pairs. A lot of that comes down to it's strong, moving fast and exciting. However, uh, we are finally back to a tradable level for the pound yen. As you guys know, I've been keeping an eye on it here, but we didn't have any too great of trends or pictures or anything that I liked. However, now we have trend reversing with this higher high set, hold back to set a higher low. This area that we're setting the higher low is a beautiful retest of structure. It was prior structure. Now it hasn't acted yet as support, but price has just come into it. So we're going to see if price can act as support. Ideally, I'd like to see like maybe a nice hammer candle on the daily here. Showing that price tried to move lower, was rejected. Maybe we'll wait for a break of a counter trend line to go long and ride this next move to the upside here out of the pound yen. But all in all, this is a nice setup we're seeing here. We need more confirmation. Price could just blow right through this prior structure and totally reverse this trend. However, <clears throat> this is a nice setup we want to be watching for. And let's see if we can throw up any fib levels here from this strong move for this higher high. We are right at a 382 fib, so that is a very strong trend continuation bounce for the Fibonacci levels, and certainly something we want to be watching for this pair. Pound Swiss franc. Uh, another one on my watch list, as we've been in a strong uptrend, we set a very nice higher high. Price then bounced off, has had a three-day pullback. Now we are going to be looking for support to be found to continue the upside. The next real major level is going to be down in here. However, um, we could get, you know, a reversal somewhere in this area, showing us that support is being held, that price is ready to continue to the upside and ultimately uh, give us our signals that we need to join this trend and continue in the direction. Next pair on my watch list is Euro Pound. As you guys know, this did break out of this massive range we were in, broke lower, but did quickly reverse back up. And although it broke back up above this support, this support is a very uh, wide zone. So the support really is in a wide range here. We are still within it. I like the looks of it because we've come back up to hit this supply zone and price has rejected off it. Got an ugly spinning top type of candle here, but we had rejection, rejected off the 50 SMA, hitting this strong level. Not only is it a uh, supply zone, but it's also a strong support resistance zone. If you can see here, support, support, resistance, resistance, all the way back here, support. You can see it was respected multiple times in the past. And, uh, we are in a downtrend, so I'm going to be looking for this pair to show signs of continuing the downtrend. And uh, not my favorite on my watch list, but still something I'm keeping an eye on. It could develop into a nice trade. EuroCAD is the next pair I'm watching. It is setting a um, lower high after breaking and setting this lower low. We've now rolled over and we're set a lower high. It is pretty strong momentum that we're pulling up here with, so... Not necessarily looking to jump right into this, but anywhere in this range, really, we could see price hold and then a very nice opportunity for a short to make another leg lower in this downtrend that has newly formed and try to catch those strong early moves of these trend formations. Right. So after EuroCAD, we have... Uh, Euro Aussie, I'm not looking to trade this, I just wanted to show you guys this head and shoulders pattern that we were watching on the four hour, failed, false breakout, reversed back up, and what we are seeing now on the daily is this um, uptrend continuing, so this minor trend line here that we thought was broken actually uh, was just a false breakout, and we are now looking to continue higher, so we have counter trend lines here being broken. 
as this pair is now looks like it's ready to come up to at least test this higher high. Maybe we even come up and set a new higher high. But um, yeah, this Euro Aussie is, this is just something on the cover that we've been going over in the past. Euro Swiss franc, another pair that's in a nice uptrend, set a strong higher high. <clears throat> now we want to watch for a pullback, look for an area to enter, hopefully on the retest of broken structure, and then get long to try to continue this trend in the direction it has been moving in nicely and getting in at a discounted price instead of at a higher price. So <clears throat> Euro Swiss franc is another one I'm going to be watching here. Looking for a little bit more of a pullback to get long. Aussie New Zealand dollar is a really nice setup here. As you can see, we've been in this strong downtrend. Broke structure, set a lower low. We've now pulled back, set a lower high. Thursday and Friday, both closed reversal patterns. A little bit of a tweezer top, but we have a gravestone doji and a shooting star back to back off the 50 SMA, which is also a nice supply zone. Also a strong support resistance zone and tapping a downward trend line for the third, fourth time. <clears throat> so this is a pair I'll be watching for shorts. Again, I like watching these counter trend line moves for trend continuations to see if we can get a push to the downside and continue this trend now um, as it breaks these intraday trends within these overall um, higher time frame, larger move trends, right? Aussie Swiss franc, beautiful play here. We had a reversal of trend with uh, really this higher high price pulled back to retest the low. And then we came up and set this higher high. So it has been really wide and choppy moves, but we have one, two, three. We pulled back a little bit here. We could get a fourth wave up here. <clears throat> we had strong higher high set up here, 200 SMA rejected price. Got a couple day pullback. We're now back to structure and a strong level here. So we'll wait and see if we're able to get some kind of a break. And then maybe we break the counter trend line and enter this pair long, get a nice risk to reward on a, um, again, newly formed trend, this time on the Aussie Swiss franc. And then we have two very similar setups on New Zealand Swiss franc. Again, this one came up, set higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. Now setting a higher low on broken structure. We'll have to wait and see if this holds or if we get a harder pullback. Um, but either way, it is now time to start looking for my setups to the upside and looking for longs off of these pullback. And then last but not least, CAD Swiss franc. Um, we had this break of structure here, pullback, higher high, pullback, right around this 200 SMA and support here. So we could see now uh, another move to the upside. Basically, in these strong trends, we want to just be looking for places to enter the trend at discounted pricing. We want to look for nice pullbacks and breakouts and uh, these levels that give us confirmation that the trend is likely to continue. And then just hop aboard the trend, ride it as long as we can, and get out with our profits. And that is the name of the game here. Um, so quickly, I want to cover S&P 500 last week. Broke up above a strong level. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we did sell off a little, but we're still above this um, nice, strong 2660 level here. If we can see a bounce now to the upside, break of this daily trend line here, um, that could be a great sign for U.S. equities. And as you guys know, with the risk on risk off sentiment, I always talk about the um, equity markets are very, very much so something that we want to follow it has a very strong correlation with the yen and the US dollar and the Swiss franc and the Aussie and the New Zealand and the CAD. So um, it is certainly something we want to watch. Speaking of the US dollar, really quick, the Dixie chart. Um, you guys can see we're still pretty range bound. So uh, I don't have any too strong of a bias. Um, we are still under the strong resistance. We are in a downtrend. We are hitting the daily trend line again. So Typically, this is the sign of a downtrend continuation. So we want to be looking short, but the dollar has been uh, bouncing pretty strong every time it tries to make a move to the downside. So really until this range is broken, I don't have any too clear of an idea, but short is more than likely basing it off trend analysis and resistance trend line, all that stuff. That is where our uh, highest clue is going to be.
But again, we just have to be prepared. We have to have plans of action in place to take advantage of what the markets do one way or the other. And uh, this is how we do it. We have to set up a plan, set up a watch list, set up our analysis. And then from there, we go with what the markets do and just have a plan to react. We don't want to get anchored to any one belief. If we convince ourselves a dollar is going to be short, that can get us into some really bad trades as, um, you know, psychologically, you don't want to be wrong and you're going to continue doing what you have this belief anchored to this bias that you've developed that the dollar has to move lower. And then when the dollar continues higher, instead of switching to your other options and having a plan of action to take advantage of the dollar moving higher, you just want to continue looking for shorts and that can end up to a lot of account deterioration and losing trades. So just stay flexible, stay adaptive, stay ready to take whatever the market throws at you. And that is your best approach. Thank you guys. I really appreciate you tuning into these videos. I hope you guys are liking what you've seen. Throw me any comments, likes. Um, if you like what you see or if you have any opinions, want me to cover anything in particular, throw it out here. Check out the Instagram page, core.fx. Please subscribe to these videos. Turn on your notifications so you get them whenever a new one comes out. There'll be plenty of free content on top of just these weekly videos coming out. I will be throwing in constant free education with Forex. So please stay tuned to the page, guys. I really appreciate all my Forex fiends out there for the support. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.